been 16 years since the last Streets of Rage release and since that time scrolling beat-em-ups have been left behind in the previous millennium, until now. So Streets of Rage is back with the fourth iteration of the game and it's been upgraded with modern graphics, great music and that familiar feel. Scrolling beat-em-ups hold some of my fondest memories in gaming from the early days in arcades on Eastbourne and Brighton Pier. Back in the day when arcades had graphics way beyond what a home console was capable of, I used to spend hours playing Final Fight, The Simpsons and Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles arcade games, some of the best scrolling beat-em-ups of their day. I was lucky that a friend of mine's dad used to repair arcade machines, so I'd go round his house and in his garage he'd have arcades where you didn't need to put the money in, you just simply select how many lives you wanted and we'd sit there for hours playing Neo Geo and Capcom classic titles. So wind forward a few years and the original Streets of Rage trilogy came out on the Mega Drive and these weren't quite the perfect arcade recreations but it was the first time that you could have impressive graphics at home and it was a huge leap from what we'd been used to on NES and Master System. So Streets of Rage 2 sticks in my mind the most with its over the top characters, colourful and vibrant designs and of course fantastic music. The Streets of Rage series didn't make it out of the 90s and the genre has since pretty much died out, with games becoming more complex, engaging and, uh, to be honest, a lot more fun these days. Streets of Rage 4 comes onto the scene in 2020 looking to inject new life into the beat em up genre and dealing heavily in the currency of nostalgia. I wish I could have a look at the game through the eyes of someone who's never played these games back in the 90s to see if they truly hold up today. Streets of Rage 4 is a fan-made homage to the original series, much like other games that have been brought back to life recently. So Nostalgia is doing really well right now with other big 90s series coming out in 2020. Streets of Rage 4 is quite unique though as it tackles a style of game that's faded away almost completely in the AAA space. The gameplay of Streets of Rage 4 largely stays the same as its previous incarnations of the series, however the graphics have had a complete overhaul by developer Lizard Cube. They're the ones who took on another 90s classic previously with Wonder Boy, a game that Game Gear fans will remember. The artwork is cell shaded, colourful and looks like a comic book that you can control. It really brings the action to life. There's the option to turn on the retro filter, allowing you to experience the updated game in full 16-bit glory, which if you have the nostalgia for the 90s games, then I definitely recommend this mode. When you first start the game, you have four characters to choose from. You've got Axel, Blaze, Cherry and Floyd. So Axel is your all-rounder, Floyd is bigger and moves a little bit slower, whereas Blade and Cherry are much more nimble. Each character has standard punch or kick attacks, holds and suplexes, as well as a special attack. Be wary of the special attack though as it will drain some energy and once you build up enough energy there's also a super attack as well. There's some nice attacks that you can chain together and the damage numbers and combos are reflected on the screen. Attacks certainly are true to the original form of Streets of Rage and I think this is both good and bad. It feels authentic for sure, however it can get a little bit button mashy and repetitive. The combo system is the saving grace of the battle system with the ability to juggle enemies in the air, more so with some characters than others. Out of the original characters, I probably had the most fun with Cherry, as combos include a lunge with her jumping forward and pounding her opponents with a follow-up punch that sends tingles down your spine. The developers definitely have injected plenty of fun and feels into the game. There's some nice systems in the game to keep you entertained and coming back for more, including unlockable features, including characters and graphical styles. There's a leaderboard and grading system to let you know instantly how you did. There's a classic story mode which isn't too long, in the region of a few hours or so, and once you finish the story you can unlock other game modes such as stage select, arcade, boss rush and battle mode. As well as the graphical upgrades, the soundtrack is awesome too. Some of the original components are back including Yuzo Kashiro and Motohiro Kawashima to produce fantastic pieces of music to accompany the action. Lizard Cube worked with Guard Crush, another studio that have dipped their toes into scrolling beat em up genre before with something called Streets of Fury. So Guard Crush has taken good elements from the past and updated them to feel modern, applying a nice layer of polish on what could have been a below average game. Streets of Rage 4 can be played through in single player mode, however the classic co-op mode is back. This time there's online matchmaking allowing you to team up with other players and this is a really really nice addition. Back in the day with another player on arcades this was great fun and that was brought into the living room with console gaming. So the addition of online play is great and it's also pretty straightforward. 
Overall, Streets of Rage 4 is a nostalgic trip down memory lane, so scrolling beat em ups have almost completely disappeared from modern gaming, so this is a nice reminder of those times. Whether it stands up on its own is another story against many other great titles that are vying for your time these days. I did have fun with it though, and I played it on Xbox Game Pass on PC, part of my monthly subscription there. I was thinking when I was playing it, I don't know if I'd be happy if I paid full price for the game, as I don't think it's going to have too much longevity for me. For fans of the genre, this is most likely the best it's going to get on modern consoles, and it's a wonderful trip down memory lane. So the game comes from Lizard Cube and Guard Crush. It's available on PS4, Switch, Xbox One and PC, and was originally released on April 30th, 2020. And I gave the game a final score of 72 out of 100.